So usually I order fireworks online, but this time I ordered an entire firework display. So this is the year of the rabbit display. Now it retails at $1,100 and you're seeing all these different fireworks on the tailgate right here on the ground where I just was. And then we also have a bunch of fireworks over here. Now, like I said, it retails at $1,100, but I was able to get my viewers a coupon code, which you'll use at checkout to get 10% off, which actually comes out to be 100 bucks off this assortment. And that coupon code is CodyBFP23. Now, remember, I ordered this online from fireworksplus.com, but if you guys don't wanna do the online shopping and you live in Southwestern Michigan near their warehouse, you can actually submit your order online for free pickup right there at the warehouse. Now, within the year of the rabbit assortment, you're gonna get a lot of the Class B line. And you guys may remember my video on that from a couple weeks ago where we shot off a bunch of this Class B brand. So I was really impressed with that product line and you do get a few of the Class B items within the year of the rabbit assortment. Now, obviously we're out here and it's getting dark and we have a lot of setup left to do. But before we go any further with how we're doing this display, I wanna show you exactly what comes inside the Year of the Rabbit assortment. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and show you exactly what you'll get inside the Year of the Rabbit firework display assortment by Fireworks Plus, starting with the supplies. So right off the bat, you're gonna get two packs of safety fuse coming out to be 40 feet in length. And the duration on both packs is right here. As you can see, it burns at two seconds per inch. So they start off by giving you 40 feet of safety fuse to work with, as well as two 10 shot fiberglass mortar racks. Surprisingly, these things actually have a really nice build to them. You can see the metal brackets here on both ends and they do include spacers too, which is really nice. And those two 10 shot racks are gonna be accompanied by your own 24 kit of shells. Now I know what you're thinking. There's only 20 shots in the racks, but remember you get four fiberglass tubes in the kit. So no matter what, you'll be able to use all 24 of these shells within your display. Now this assortment comes with some items by their Class B Fireworks line, which is one of my favorites. This is actually kind of like their Pro line product. And so one of the fireworks by this brand that you get in the assortment is this 150 shot zipper cake and your performance is right there. We'll get you an up close shot of that. You actually get two of these items in the assortment. These are 200 gram cakes, again by Class B brand. And as you can see, it's a 16 shot Nishiki Willow cake and they got it timed out at 20 seconds per cake. Next one is gonna be a 500 gram cake it is 27 shot color changing mines to color changing shells, go getters, which is one of my favorite effects and a crackling finale. And we have another 500 gram cake here by Class B brand. This is an 18 shot color to brocade howling tail to crackle with brocade and crackling finale. This one I'm probably looking forward to the most out of the cakes in this assortment. And last but not least for the class B items in this assortment, you get another 500 gram cake here and it's seven shots called Insight. It is a cylindrical cake. And so the tubes and shots go around the center, which has some concrete in it to keep it stable. Moving on, you get one of these eight shot cakes called Broken Heart by Winda Fireworks. And we got another 200 grammer here by Shogun Fireworks called Palm Beach. It's 16 shots. The reason I'm not focusing so much on the performance description on these cakes is because obviously we're lighting this entire assortment off in the fireworks show. So you guys will see what each one of these does. And we got this 500 gram cake here, 16 shots by Inked Pyro. And this one here is called Tribal. Really love the label design on this. This 500 gram cake I am really looking forward to seeing because I haven't had anything by Hero Pyro Fireworks. This one is called Ringmaster. As you guys know, the ring effect in particular is one of my favorite firework effects on the market. Now this assortment features not one, but two of these 49 shot variation 500 gram cakes. This one here is called Phone Home by Shockwave, which is one of their in-house brands. As you can see, they put the performance right there on the top and it's a really cool label design. And the second 49 shotter is right here, also by Shockwave Fireworks. This one is called Plasma Core. And we got this massive firework fountain right here with a panoramic effect. This is called Static Shock by Shockwave brand. We're gonna be using this one in the opener with those Saturn missile batteries because sometimes fountains have these weird durations, right? So the fuse may actually jump. So we want this to be the first thing to go in our show so that even if it continues while the aerial fireworks are going off, you get that nice ground level effect with shells breaking over top. And now we're gonna start taking a look at the items that are doubled up. So you get two four packs of Saturn missile batteries with crackling right here. Two of these Trailblazer 200 gram cakes by Shogun Fireworks. Two of these little mini cakes called Legit 16 Shots by Pyropact. I absolutely love how small these things are. 
It's a pretty cool looking firework. These two are definitely a fan favorite. Strongman by Wind of Fireworks, check it out. One of the heaviest 200 gram cakes I think on the market. And you get two more small cakes by Wind of Fireworks called Flabbergasted. Love the label on that as well. You're also gonna get two of these Atom Smasher eight shot cylindrical cakes by Dominator Fireworks. And last but not least, you have two 500 gram cakes here called Rage by Maddox Fireworks. They're eight shots a piece and they do have a fanned out angle. So we'll be sure to get that right when we set up the show. And now we're gonna start prepping for our firework display. And the first thing I'm gonna do is use some of that safety fuse that we got to connect all eight of these Saturn missile batteries together. I'm gonna run slow fuse down the whole thing and this will actually be part of the opener with that fountain. Now, as you can see, I'm choosing to leave part of the cellophane on so I can use less tape when I wrap them around and that'll help keep these together in a line. But basically, I'm just gonna be taking the fuse provided here and fusing them together with zip ties like that. So here's a quick tip to increase the speed of your workflow on these firework displays where you're doing a lot of fusing. So I always start with the last cake in line and then go up to the top and I connect those zip ties right away. From there, it's way easier to just connect them down the line instead of having to follow that fuse back each time. And every time you do this, you wanna make sure that the fuses are always facing the same way from the start of the ignition. And this is what our 200 shots of crackling missile batteries looks like all fused up. Now we're gonna start working on getting our canister shells inside those two 10 shot racks. So I have the first 10 shells loaded up into the rack and what I'm gonna do here is actually just use the canister shell fuse it came with to connect them together. And then I'm gonna wind the safety fuse through all those different loops and that is just kind of like a safety measure to make sure all 10 shells fire. But the reason I wanna do it this way so they kind of keep a faster pace is because I don't want these canister shells lasting longer than the zipper cake, which is also part of the finale. This is what our two racks are gonna look like completely fused together. And now we just need to apply the looping method. So I want you to think of the looping method like a safety channel. All we're gonna be doing is applying this little piece of green fuse that goes all the way across the rack as a backup plan in case the artillery shell fuse itself decides to cut out and not continue down the rack, this safety channel is what I call it, will prevent that from happening in the first place. And to do that, you're just gonna be pulling your fuse through like a thread. And so I always start with the back one, it just makes it a little easier. Sometimes this stuff will come undone and you'll have to start over. But this is all we're doing throughout the entire rack. We're just weaving it through, just making sure that this fuse continues down the entirety of the rack. Now, if you're like me, you'll probably wanna use a zip tie to hold that in place, just so it doesn't slip out when you're transporting the rack. Now, after we've loaded up our first 20 canister shells into the two 10 shot racks, you're gonna be left with four singular canister shells. This is where the four tubes from the canister shell kit are going to come in handy. So we're gonna be making a four shot rack out of these four tubes. Now this is what our four shot rack looks like with shells in it, but when you get out there on site, you wanna make sure you have bricks in between and on all four sides of this, just to increase the stability a little bit. And it's finally all coming together and looking more like a rack. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the finished product minus the bricks for stabilization. So let's get back out to the shoot site and finish setting up. God, I'm so stupid. I'm just gonna grab the flashlight out of here because I already got your phone and my phone on the tripod. All right. All right, so real quick, while well, we have about 10 minutes before we shoot the show, I wanted to give you guys a walkthrough. So with the opener, we've got these Saturn missile batteries going up, all 200 shots of those. And then if we come over here, we have that fountain. And this is gonna be going up with the opener as well. Remember this whole display is scripted. And this is what that four shot canister shell rack looks like. Um, I went ahead and triggered that at 1.30 in the show. So just before that fountain ends, that'll get people's attention for those of them who weren't able to see the fountain. Then we come over here to the 16 shot Nishiki Willow Cake, which is actually brocades on that one, by the way. Then we hit Insight. Then we hit a Trailblazer back up here. Then we hit the 27 shot Color Changing Mines to Color Changing Shells with Go-Getters. 
And we got a broken heart by Wind of Fireworks going up next. Then we got the 49 shot phone home cake. And we come back over to Flabbergasted, another 200 gram by Winda. Then we got this little guy here called Adam Smasher. After that, we hit the tiniest cake in the whole bunch. That's legit. And we got another larger 200 gram cake over here by Winda called Strongman. And then this Palm Paradise here by I think Shogun Fireworks. Then we got the other 49 shot 500 gram cake here called Plasma Core going up next. And that one is followed by another 500 gram cake called Tribal. Then coming back to the Class B line, we have the 18 shot color brocade with Howling Tail. And we have another Atom Smasher here, again, real small 200 gram cake. And wedged way down there, we have another Legit. After Legit, we hit another 16 shot Nishiki, which is actually brocade with Crackle. Then we move into another Flabbergasted over here. After Flabbergasted, we hit Trailblazer. And we got another Strongman down there on the second to the last one. Then we got this Ringmaster, probably the one I'm most excited for to see. See how perfect, yeah, see how perfect those ring shells are. And then after Ringmaster, we cue the finale, which is two of these Rage 500 gram cakes. We got one over there and one over here. We set it up like this, so if we have to hand fire one that misses on the igniter, we can easily get up here in between these rows and safely light it while the other row is going off. Now right here we've got the finale, as you can see I covered it with duct tape, but this is the 20 canister shells we had left over after the four I used in the rack up there, and we're ending with the 156 shot zipper cake. Well guys, I'm super excited to see this firework display in action. Again, remember Fireworks Plus, you get 10% off using my coupon code. Take a look at our turnout tonight. Only thing left to do is check continuity and we're firing the show. All right, guys, here we go. Show has started.
<laughs> For the last 10 minutes, we were the coolest people in town. Literally. Well, we usually are anyway, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Well, check it out. The good news is that every single one of these cakes went off. We didn't have any issues with a cake or shell not firing. However, the only problem we did have was that these canister shells went way too quick. So what I would recommend doing for any of you ordering the show and trying to replicate exactly what we did here is snip those green fuses all the way down and actually connect each one with safety fuse, making that the only way for it to go down the rack. If you do it the way I did, obviously it goes way too quick. Now I had it timed out at 30 seconds. It was more like 10. The zipper cake, because of that, lasted a little bit longer, but I think that was a cool way to end the show. And I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you next time. And don't forget to check out Fireworks Plus if you're interested in this assortment. Hey, I'm going fishing, Cody. <laughs> I think I got one. <laughs> this, this is a lazy genius. man's way of cleaning up. <laughs>